This video is brought to you in part by NubianDo.com. NubianDo.com, a place where I can go and get information about hair care, hair accessories, and also various motivation at Nina's Corner. Check out NubianDo.com. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, and I wanted to come today to talk about hair gel. And, um, a lot of my subscribers have asked me to talk about hair gel in general because I do talk a lot about my usage of it. Um, a lot of them have said they've heard that it causes breakage, that it causes problems with hair growth, it stunts the hair growth. Um, I know a lot of these things I was told when I was growing up that I shouldn't use hair gel, why it was bad. I was never told the benefits of hair gel or anything of that sort, or maybe um, the correct usage of hair gel. And this video is going to be quite short, um, because I don't use that many different types of hair gel, uh, but I know a little bit about um, a good basis and history of hair gel. Hair gel, uh, which you'll see, you've seen at the beginning of this video, it was pretty much invented to hold the hair in place. It was meant to make a style stay. Plain and simple, that's what gel is used for. Um, now, the reason why I feel like gel has gotten a bad rep um, is because back in the day, a lot of chemicals were used in gels. You didn't find many naturally uh, abstracted gels or gels that did not have alcohol in them because alcohol was a main product in a lot of hair products, especially those used to style and hold. And you all know that from like hairdressing things, um, even hairspray and things like that usually had a significant amount of alcohol content in it. Now, those ingredients, alcohol, dries out our hair and since afro textured hair or hair that is uh, more curly carries less moisture anyway, yes, anything with alcohol in it can cause a stunting and growth or cause difficulties with smothering the hair uh, follicles, with uh, drying out the hair if you're not pop properly moisturizing it. So I say all that to say, you guys know my choices in gel include the Ampro Pro Styles Gel, Brown Protein Gel, No Alcohol, Strong Hold. Um, I also use Softy Activator Aloe Vera Gel. I mean some people wouldn't consider this hair gel, but gel is gel, and this is a gel. Um, and I use the Eco Styler Clear Gel. I've also been known to use the Eco Styler Brown Gel, but I find that my brown and pro works a little bit better than that. Um, I still have a whole <laughs> big thing of the Eco Styler. But um, the Clear Eco Styler, and it clearly says alcohol free. So that's what I often look for when I'm getting a gel. Um, I usually apply gel to my edges. Uh, I also use Kinky Curly Curling Custard, which some people see as a gel, but I feel like it's a moisturizing gel. You all have seen me use gel in many of my videos, and I usually apply just a little bit of the softy gel first. And why do I do that, you ask? Um, it's because you want to moisturize anywhere that you put gel. Because gel can be drying, even without alcohol. Because it does get hard and it's made to get harder on the edges, which you all can see my edges. Um, it's the end of the day, but you can see um, how I've used gel on my hair. Um, I try to make sure that I run over that area with, and in the back, I try to run over that area with um, some kind of moisturizer or even my beautiful brown baby dolls eye soaky oil um, just to make sure like you can see my hands are a little oily um, just to make sure that my hair has the proper moisture as I'm applying gels because gels can be drying so uh, make sure that you keep that in mind gel is not the devil <laughs> gel does not cause your hair to break it's the improper um, it, it's not properly taking care of your hair and then the adding on of gel that causes the hair breakage. If you're ensuring that your hair is moisturized daily, if you're ensuring that you're not using alcohol polluted products, then you shouldn't be experiencing breakage from gel. The reason why you might be experiencing breakage could be linked to the fact that you tie your scarves too tight, that you're not sitting, sleeping with satin pillow covers or pillow or head covers, um, 
or that you're using the wrong types of gel because there are gels for different types of hair. I know Eco Styler sells a different type of gel for each kind of hair. Uh, Ampro might not work for everybody. Gel does not work for everybody. That's another thing about finding your perfect gel. Um, so make sure that you keep that in mind. Uh, these this was a very simple video because I just wanted to convey the point that gel is not a bad thing. It's not at all. Uh, if you're properly taking care of your hair, not overly using anything, because too much of a good thing of anything can cause problems. So keep that in mind. But if you're using it correctly, if you're uh, applying it to your hair and taking good care of your edges at the same time, meaning not pulling your hair too tight, uh, sleeping with your satin pillowcases and head covers, you should be fine. I have not experienced breakage due to gel. Now, I know somebody will find a way to refute this because your experiences have been different, but I'm going to tell you this. I can guarantee you that if you look back on when you used to use gel and your hair was breaking, it was because of some other reason and not the gel itself. It's because of the improper... Uh, not really taking care of your hair the correct way. Gel is not made to break your hair off unless, like I said, it's alcohol polluted or you're using the gel and you're not using anything to moisturize your hair with. You can't just use hair gel. So I hope that this has been helpful in helping you uh, finding your quest for gel. I, I suggest that you keep your gels as pure as possible. Um, try to stay away from a lot of different... Uh, ingredients that you really don't know what they are um i try to stay with anything that has uh something moisturizing in it like glycerin or something of that sort um you'll find that the first thing in hair eco styler hair gel this clear one anyway is water that's the first thing so i mean i look for those types of things in my hair gels i'm not just putting anything in my hair and it definitely has to be alcohol free so guys, make sure you keep that in mind. Make sure that you visit www.beautifulbrownbabydoll.com for information like this and many other things. Uh, make sure that you all visit because I am posting, uh, starting to post my hair features. So I've started to get hair features in and they're starting to be posted. Don't forget about the baddest twist on the yard contest, which is ending next Monday. So you have about a week to turn in your baddest twist on the yard pictures to um, the dream team keeps it real at gmail.com. I'm going to make another video about this uh, so you guys can remember the contest. Um, also, make sure that you're visiting this site to find out more about the products and services. Um, a lot of uh, my hair care plan is based around giving you information on products telling you how to find those products and why those products are used. I haven't just listed products on my plan. It tells you why I've used them and why I've chosen them as good staple products. So make sure y'all check everything out. The blogs are hot. Everything over there is popping off like crazy. <laughs> I'm thankful for it. Um, just make sure that y'all stay tuned. There's so much to come in the hair boot camp. I am Natural Hair Bootcamp. I am actually about to start the Keeping the Confidence series again. I've had requests for a relationship series, so I'm trying to get that in the works and make sure I'm going in the right direction with that. So you know your girl loves you. Uh, much love. I'm kind of tired tonight, y'all. If you notice, my eyes keep closing. I'm tired. I worked 12 hours today on doctoral internship, and I am beat. So it's time for your girl to head to bed. But I love you. Beautiful brown baby doll. Y'all know this ain't the end. Peace. Good night. Make sure that you guys visit and join www.beautifulbrownbabydoll.com for the latest in information about me and various other things that are going on. Um, you can join the site by looking at the side panel. You can even sign in with your Facebook name. Also, you can join on the members page at Join Beautiful Brown Baby Doll today on the members page. Make sure that you check out all products and services as many things are on sale right now as far as the meal plans and the hair care plans. There's so much going on over there. Make sure that you also check out all the products and the samples just to look them over. 
Visit my Facebook page at Nina Beautiful Brown Baby Doll Ellis Hervey. Also, make sure that you follow me on Twitter at Beautiful Brown Baby Doll. It's spelled a little bit different. Follow me on my Twitter fan page at Brown Baby Doll Fan. And also, uh, make sure that you check out my girl Tiff's page. She's the designer of my YouTube page. Guys, make sure that you stay up on the series and much to come. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.